What's up YouTube? It's me, Justin. I'm an opera singer. Today's video is Patron Pick of the Month, and for this month, they have chosen First Burn from Hamilton. Now, disclaimer, I am probably one of the very few people who have never seen Hamilton. So I am taking this out of context unless I can kind of figure out what is going on. We're really going to look at the music and the acting. Let's go. Oh, okay. Um, I just have to say this first instrumental part is very haunting. The chromaticism and also the repeated notes and the fact that it's high, it's in the high register of the keyboard, it automatically makes this very chilling and haunting. Um, first burn, mm, there's a lot that could be said in the title alone. That paired with this, I've already got a good sense. I could be totally wrong too, but my mind is trying to figure out, you know, immediately what is the setting. And um, with these two hints, it's just giving me this uh, this haunting vibe. I saved every letter you wrote me from the moment I saw you. I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when I told her what you'd done? She said, You're married in Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun. Mm. Don't take another step in my direction. No. I can't be trusted around you. Okay, let's let's pause here. So I will say the one thing that I wish this video was was a live performance of this. I try and do my best to do as many performance analysis videos on live performances because it's very hard to get a good grasp on the acting and also the way that the singer would naturally form their mouth when singing when in this type of a setting. Just from looking at the way some of the singers are shaping their mouth, some a little bit more over exaggerated and others a lot more subtle, it just doesn't really come off as the way that the sound is produced when you're listening. And for me, as someone who likes to pinpoint things and kind of put pieces to the puzzle together, this is kind of messing with my mind just a little bit because what you're, what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing doesn't sync up. And that's just the natural aspect of really what a music video is. It's lip syncing to an audio that has already been pre-recorded. That's one thing. Second thing, I don't know the storyline. I don't know what's going on. They're clearly upset about uh, someone they wrote letters to. I was not expecting one multiple singers, um, which is really cool to hear. Okay, so far I believe we've heard and seen four different ladies. Please correct me if I'm wrong down below. So talking about the very first lady who sang, I loved the subtlety that she did on the word mine. She sang it I think two or three different times. The first two times she brought this gentle aspect to it and she did that by producing a bit more air. She let a little bit more of the breath come out on that word versus the words before in the phrase. And then I liked the subtlety that she did on the last mine where she did a riff or a run. I couldn't tell with a scale. You, I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. All of these different vocal techniques that she did for this one word really draws your ear in 
a little bit more to pay attention to that one specific word. And I really liked that detail within her section. So the second gross part was pretty interesting because we got a lot more information in a sense of who. The first girl's verses focused around the pronouns, I think I, and then said you. I saved every letter you wrote me. From the moment I saw you, I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. I personally, because I don't know the story, I don't know who you is. I don't know who she's talking to. In the second singer's first verse, we got a good amount of information because we actually got proper nouns. So she said, I have the lyrics here. Do you know what Angelica said? Then something, something, something. When I told her what you've done, what you've done, she said, you have married an Icarus. I believe that's another proper noun. Someone within the storyline. Do you know what Angelica said when I told her what you'd done? She said, you have married an Icarus. So we're getting a good amount of information, and this is great for someone who doesn't know the storyline. It can be a little bit confusing because we don't know who those people are. I liked that aspect. And then I also liked the harmonic part when the third girl came in and there was some sort of harmony around the words, um, you're, you have married an Icarus. Now that to me drew my ear because that was the first time we've heard harmonies in the sense of the voice. And why put it there? That's a very important question to ask. Well, it's drawing your attention to this one particular line. And it makes me wonder, oh my God, okay, You've married an Icarus. That's either a really bad thing, I'm gonna take the context of the previous words in the song, or that could be a very good thing, or just something to pay attention to. Then with the third girl, we got something completely different. Her line stopped the music, which put a lot of emphasis on her part and also her very first word, which was don't. You have married an Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun. Don't. And you saw the pretty dramatic um, mouth movement on that word in the music video. And it kind of just put this huge like exclamation point in that one moment. And it's like, okay, we've had a shift and this person is going to say what they have to say in their very own specific way. And that way, just so happens to be a pay attention to me now, so much so to where whatever I'm saying is gonna stop the music so you can hear me clearly. Then with her same part, just as quickly as the music dropped out for her first uh, section of the first verse, it just as quickly came back in with even more emphasis on instrumentals, which was cool because it was a nice setup for the next girl uh, who had a more gentle approach to her her lyrics and the music kind of backed off during her section Married an Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun Don't take another step in my direction I can't be trusted around you Don't think you can talk your way into my All of this to say, every person has a very clear personality and you're getting that personality not only within the lyrics but also what is underneath them musically. Okay, well, I feel like I need to watch 
this to really understand the story. I see you looking at my sister. Um, that is, I feel like there's just a lot more to the story. So I want to quickly talk about the woman who sang the lines, you published the letter she wrote you. You told the whole world how you brought this girl into our bed. In clearing your name, you have ruined our lives. Now, I wanted to pinpoint her voice because I feel like this is um, this is a moment within this song so far where we've got we've gotten a pretty musical theater y uh, type sound. I felt uh, her voice was a little bit more on the forward side. She was also giving a good amount of emphasis on the R's. So she was singing, "You brought this girl into our our bed. You have ruined our lives." You publish the letter she wrote to you. You told the whole world how you brought this girl into our bed. In clearing your name, you have ruined our lives. Really pay attention to that and that you get that musical theater type sound just from that subtle choice. Another small cool detail was how they were all in unison on the word scream. Heaven forbid someone Part of some scheme, your enemy whispers, so you have to scream. Why not have them all in unison on this one word scream where they're all clearly feeling the same type of way? Know about whispers. I see how you look at my sister. Don't. Ooh. I'm not naive. I have seen women. Nice. Okay. I love the dropout and where the, there was that build up within the uh, the percussion and then I heard a very clear uh, bass line within within the strings. That was really awesome. And then I also loved how that was followed where each girl just had her moment right before the song ended. And then to the visuals too, the visuals of seeing all of the girls towards the last part of the music video and seeing who was singing what within the harmonies was awesome, especially for me, because I don't know these characters and I don't know their voices well enough to hear all of the harmonies and then say, oh, that sounds like her and seeing obviously how their mouths moved in order to figure out where they sat within the harmony. Nice touch. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Please comment down below if I should do another piece from Hamilton and if so, what should it be? Lastly, make sure you check out my description box for ways you can keep in touch with me, get access to exclusive perks and or take an artistic development lesson with me. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye.